Halo selamat pagi pemirsa IDX Channel, senang sekali saya Erwin Surya Brata bisa hadir menjumpa Anda kali ini dalam spesial dialog tamu yang sangat spesial yang juga yang akan kami hadirkan di sepanjang talk show di pagi hari ini. Kita akan berbicara banyak mengenai Nepal Indonesia Economic Relations. Sebelum kita bahas perbincangan di pagi hari ini, berikut bisa Anda saksikan country profile dari negara Nepal. was really a breathtaking pictures, the country profile of Nepal. And to discuss more about this, it's our privilege. Joining us live, His Excellency Dr. Niranjan Man Singh Basniat. He is the ambassador of Nepal to the Republic of Indonesia. Accompanying him, Mr. Beli Saputra Dato Janusati. He is the honorary consul of Nepal in Indonesia. Our live streaming can be accessed to okzone.tv and cnews.com. Good morning to you both, gentlemen. Your mm. Excellency and Mr. Bali, yeah. thank you so much for your time. Yeah. It was really fascinating when we talk about the picture of a Nepal. Please share us more. What should we know about your countries? Yeah, uh, especially our country is uh, full of opportunities and uh, especially uh, in terms of uh, tourism. Mm. We have the uh, highest mountains in the world. Mm. That includes Mount Everest, mm -hmm. which is uh, 8,848 meters mm -hmm. high from the sea level. 
and uh, we have also uh, culturally speaking mm. we have also the birthplace of buddha mm. the place is called lumbini which is uh, now uh, uh, in the world heritage list of unesco mm. so these are the uh, most important uh, monuments we have and we have also cultural uh, monuments temples and all this that is that is for tourism and other uh, thing we have in nepal is the immense hydro electricity mm. uh, generation uh, you know the potential so we have a uh, big rivers flowing from uh, north to south and which is uh, mainly uh, coming from the melting of the mm. snow so from all these mountains so from there we can generate a lot of uh, electricity which uh, which is uh, not which is uh, not giving any pollution which is not creating any pollution like a diesel or any other uh, so you know. you're go green by definition yes this is very interesting i hope you can encourage more and more indonesian viewers and asian to go to Kathmandu and nepal to witness it themselves apart from the tourism attractions and the diversification of culture that you have how far has it contributed to your economic development so far yeah uh, in in uh, uh, regarding the tourism we have uh, the contribution of uh, tourism to our gdp mm. is uh, about 10% mm. and uh, actu actually our uh, our country is uh, uh, agriculture country mm. agriculture based until now and we have 71% of our population mm. which is about 28 million population mm. of nepal 71% uh, live in agriculture mm. so that is uh, agriculture is also the uh, one of the main contributors to the gdp uh, and uh, other potentials are like uh, we are now trying to have a uh, uh, constructed all the uh, big highways mm -hmm. and uh, big airports we are now constructing uh, uh, two international airport one in lumbini mm -hmm. the birthplace of buddha which will be complete by the end of 2018 mm -hmm. next year and uh, the other one is in pokhara which is the most uh, touristic and uh, scenic mm -hmm. uh, uh, place in nepal mm -hmm. pokhara everybody would like to go and then pokhara has a, a small aircraft a paragliding uh, and there are some places where you can see uh, a beautiful mm -hmm. uh, sunrise and uh, bungee jumping mm -hmm. For I the young people like you, uh, I think uh, bungee jumping is a, quite a bit of adventure. We really can't wait to see it ourselves. By the way, you are telling us it's like a great storytelling, but it's real in Kathmandu and yeah. Nepal in uh, general. Kita ke Pak Bali Saputra Datuk Janusati. Beliau ini adalah Honorary Consul of Nepal in Indonesia. Mengapa diperlukan kerjasama antara Nepal dan Indonesia, Pak? Sejauh ini yang Pak Bali lihat potensi kerjasama terbaik apa yang bisa kita kerjakan? Jadi setelah 57 tahun, punya hubungan diplomatik Nepal dan Indonesia baru pada bulan Juli ini ditempatkan konsul jenderal ya. tetapi kedutaannya sendiri tahun lalu sudah disahkan hmm. terutama Pak Niranjam jadi duta besar untuk Nepal Indonesia Malaysia dan Filipina ya. uh, dan kami melihat ada peran-peran yang sangat strategis antara Indonesia dengan Nepal ini peluang-peluang bisnis Nepal ini ada di sektor-sektor properti, uh, infrastruktur, hmm. dan uh, rumah sakit. Baik, Pak Beli, kita tahan dulu. Ini sepertinya ada kesamaan misi antara pemerintah Indonesia dan juga pemerintah Nepal di saat ini yang akan memprioritaskan pembangunan interconnectivity, kemudian infrastruktur, dan juga properti. Pastikan Anda masih bersama kami, Anda menyaksikan spesial dialog Nepal-Indonesia Economic Relations. News Screen on IDX Channel. Ingin menjalani kehidupan yang mapan dan masa depan yang sejahtera? Sikapi uang dengan bijak. Mulailah berinvestasi di pasar modal. Dengan membeli saham melalui bursa efek maupun perusahaan sekuritas, Anda dapat menikmati hasil keuntungan dari perusahaan-perusahaan besar yang tersedia. Pastikan Anda berinvestasi di perusahaan yang memiliki izin resmi. Cerdas mengelola masa depan sejahtera. Otoritas Jasa Keuangan, Lembaga Pengawas Industri Jasa Keuangan yang terpercaya. From Jakarta, I'm Erwin Suryabrata. Some information are different. 
Freeport itu memang minta perpanjangan sampai 2041. You need to know them before anything. The United Nations Security Council imposed new sanctions on North Korea. This information was the position in the headline. Indonesia posts a trade deficit of 0.27 billion dollar in July. Only on IDX China. Anda kembali bersama kami masih di spesial dialog Nepal Indonesia Economic Relations masih bersama kita duta besar dari Nepal untuk Indonesia His Excellency Dr Niranjan Mansing Basniat mendampingi beliau ada Bapak Beli Saputra Datu Janosati beliau adalah Honorary Consul of Nepal in Indonesia tadi di awal sudah dibicarakan oleh Pak duta besar dan juga Pak Beli kira-kira potensi kerjasama apa saja yang paling prospektif bisa dikerjakan di antara kedua negara sebelum kita lanjutkan perbincangan berikut country profile berikutnya dari negara Ya, pemirsa dari country profile baru saja kita saksikan tercermin sekali betapa kaya akan budaya dan wisata religi negara Nepal yang bisa ditawarkan untuk para turis 
Tidak hanya itu saja, ini banyak potensi kerjasama yang ternyata bisa kita kembangkan. Langsung saja kita tanyakan kepada Bapak Duta Besar. Your Excellency, uh, giving an idea to our investors here in Indonesia, what sectors, according to you, are the most promising and prospective one in your country nowadays? Now, uh, our government is mainly concentrating on uh, construction of infrastructure. Mm. So, uh, that is also inside the SARC also, we are discussing about connectivity. So now there is, a, you know, as you as you already know, that uh, China is also trying to have a one belt one road initiative. So Nepal is a partner to that. We have already signed the agreement with mm -hmm. Chinese government to have a one belt one road initiative, mm -hmm. and uh, China has also promised that uh, a train, a fast train, will come to Nepal, mm -hmm. and which may go up to Lumbini so that they will bring tourists from China to visit the birthplace of Buddha. Just like another government, you always see this interconnectivity as the key defining factor in building your economy. Pak Beli, tadi kita sudah sebutkan secara detail, ini sektor-sektor yang paling prospektif untuk bisa kita kembangkan antara kedua negara. Infrastructure, kemudian property. Nah, pariwisata. Pariwisata, tentu saja. Apa saja nih Pak, sejauh ini yang sudah kelihatan progresnya kalau kita berbicara mengenai kerjasama yang bisa kita optimalkan. Yang pertama adalah di sektor pariwisata kita akan coba uh, lagi usulkan sekarang ke Menteri Luar Negeri adalah hubungan Lumbini dan Borobudur. Kita akan jadikan coba sister city jadi wisata religi umat Buddha sedunia. Jadi seperti umat Islam Mekah dan Medina. Jadi Mekahnya adalah Borobudur, Medinanya adalah Lumbini, Lumbini. tempat kelahiran Buddha Gautama. Ke depan kita berharap dengan adanya airport baru di Jogja nanti akan bisa mendatangkan lebih kurang 5 juta umat Buddha hmm. sedunia melakukan Nepal dan uh, Perbudur. Hmm. Juga dari sektor perwisata di Nepal yang sangat banyak itu akan bisa mendorong ekonomi kreatif dari Indonesia memproduksi baju-baju I love Nepal, I love Elmaya dan handicraft-handicraft lainnya kita produksi di Indonesia nanti kita ekspor di uh, Nepal. Yeah. Your Excellency, everyone start questioning about this and this is going to be also one important aspect in running the business. The ease of doing business. Our government is trying their best to create this. What about Nepal? What should we understand about having, running or creating business with your country? Yeah, we have a, uh, in the, uh, under the Prime Minister's office, Prime Minister has given the highest priority to the foreign investment. Mm -hmm. So there is one uh, investment uh, board Nepal mm. under the Prime Minister's office, and there are so many, uh, you know, the consultants on their own subject matters. Mm. Uh, they, they have been, you know, uh, there is a division of work uh, among themselves, and some people are, uh, you know, the hydroelectricity experts, some people are energy, other renewable energy, mm. and some people are tourism experts in, under this uh, office. So uh, we have a. Uh, many investors are, uh, you know, uh, uh, contacting this office and uh, they can discuss the projects and uh, I'm very happy that uh, uh, Mr. Bailey is uh, going to Nepal in October in a small group mm -hmm. and again he's taking about uh, 20 to 30 Indonesian uh, investors to Nepal in November, yeah. mid-November. So I'm very much excited about this uh, because there are so many uh, developers mm -hmm. and uh, I was uh, able to visit uh, their uh, meeting also in ICE, ICE. Uh, yeah, uh, now going on. Yeah. So these, uh, so many developers, developers are there, so many constructors are there, so many uh, these uh, business opportunities and joint co ventures right. may be coming up yes. in so the near future. Really progress in the making. Oh, yes. Pastikan Anda masih bersama kami, kami masih akan kembali dengan satu segmen terakhir masih dalam spesial dialog Nepal Indonesia Economic Relations. Anda menyaksikan IDX Channel. Sebenarnya PBS itu apa sih? Sukuk ini menggunakan underlying proyek. Inilah cara cerdas memutar uang Anda. Anda hanya perlu buka rekening efek yang ada di perusahaan sekuritas. Tentukan nominal dananya, kemudian pilih sahamnya. Beli sahamnya secara rutin, dan tabungan saham sudah menjadi milik Anda. Yuk putar uang dengan cara yang cerdas. 
demi masa depan keluarga Anda. Yuk nabung saham. Kita masih punya potensi menguat ya, gitu. semacam euforia ini. KBBNI direkomendasikan sel. Merupakan resisten yang cukup kuat. Movers and shakers. Sampai berjumpa ke depan. Seperti apa cerita weekend saya? Yuk, ikut. On IDX Channel, information delivered not only on the weekday. Just go ahead. Wah, ikan yang besar sekali. With IDX Channel. Excuse me, sir. Hari kembali bersama kami masih di spesial dialog masih bersama Bapak Duta Besar His Excellency Dr. Niranjan Mansingh Basnyat mendampingi beliau adalah Honorary Consul of Nepal in Indonesia Bapak Belly Saputra Datu Janusati tadi Bapak Duta Besar sudah menjelaskan bahwa the is atau kemudahan untuk berbisnis akan dijanjikan dan disediakan oleh pemerintah Nepal sebagaimana pemerintah Indonesia yang saat ini tengah memprioritaskan ini sebagai salah satu program mereka Pak Belly kalau tadi sudah dijelaskan oleh Pak Dubes mengenai berbisnis di Nepal lengkap dengan apa saja regulasi yang sudah mereka persiapkan menggunakan pengalaman Bapak yang sudah sering hmm. Jakarta Katmandu ini Pak hmm. apa yang perlu kita pahami memahami karakteristik dari para investor di Nepal sehingga kita bisa memenuhi keinginan dari mereka jadi di Nepal sekarang ini sangat membutuhkan uh, pembangunan infrastruktur terutama semen di sana masih kurang hmm. jadi saya coba akan bawa semen Indonesia hmm. yang di Indonesia sekarang kelebihan pasok kita coba nanti sama di Nepal. Kemudian di sana sumber energi padahal bahannya banyak tapi yeah, yeah. energinya perusahaannya kurang. Jadi yeah. mungkin kita coba juga bantu. Kemudian dari sektor pariwisata itu kan sekarang dibutuhkan adalah uh, jaringan internet apa semua. Yeah. Itu uh, kayak telkomnya juga yeah. kita akan coba gandeng telkom untuk masuk ke uh, Kathmandu, yeah. Nepal. Ya kan? yeah. Jadi banyak beberapa hal. Kemudian banyak rumah sakit rumah sakit yang belum ada saya hmm. juga bawa juga teman-teman dari real estate Indonesia untuk bisa membangun rumah sakit di sana juga rumah di sana lebih mahal dua kali daripada rumah di Indonesia ya, ya. jadi peluang bagi teman-teman pengembang hmm. untuk bisa berinvestasi di uh, Nepal dan mereka sekarang membuka diri untuk kedatangan investor-investor asing ya. di mana stabilitas politiknya sudah cukup baik saat baik. ini Ya, dari research dan penelitian dan juga pengamatan yang sudah anda lakukan karena sering melakukan perjalanan antara Jakarta ke Mandu, sudahkah mulai bisa dipetakan Pak nanti kira-kira area-area mana yang paling promising untuk kerjasama bisnis di antara kedua negara? Apakah akan terpusat di Katmandu saja atau kalau tadi kita lihat potensi wisata ini tersebar di beberapa uh, tempat ini ada uh, Lumbini, kemudian ya. ada Pokhara. Pokhara. Ya. Mungkin di tiga tempat itu Pokhara, hmm. Katmandu dan Lumbini. Hmm. Jadi dengan berbagai sektor hmm. tadi, jadi bisa di tiga tempat kita lakukan. Secara uh, berbarengan melakukan investasi di sana. Yeah, Your Excellency, we are in the middle of discussing about what should the Indonesian investors understand in building up a good, strong relationship with the Nepal investor. Are there any typical characteristic that we have to understand, or do we have actually a lot of things in common, so we won't face any problem at all in strengthen our relationship in business? Yeah, I think that you know the people, uh, Indonesian people are also very friendly and amicable, yeah. and Nepalese people are also very friendly and jovial. So uh, there, there should be no problem uh, when we talk about culturally mm. speaking, and uh, at the same time, uh, I would like to point out that. If Indonesia, from any investors, uh, any one business will be very successful in Nepal, mm. then other investors will follow suit. So that is why uh, uh, I think, uh, first of all, there must be one very uh, successful project in Nepal from mm. Indonesia, mm. from Indonesian businessmen. Then other people also, all also will follow suit. And our uh, country has already Uh, uh, simplify all the rules and regulations and you can uh, you know uh, repatriate uh, you can uh, you know send back the profit mm. you can um, uh, uh, you can have a joint ventures with the Nepalese uh, businessmen and uh, you can take back the profit uh, to your country yeah so that is also one of the you know uh, we are trying to make it uh, most easier to do business in Nepal That's very awesome. Well, early on, you already pointed out the ease of doing business from the Nepalese government. Now, uh, as the ambassador, how do you see when we talk about the set of regulation or regulatory framework in Indonesia? 